So this is what it looks like now. Let's go. Look at this. So this is going to be all travertine. It's going to be looking good, baby. It's going to be looking good. This project is gonna be amazing. Hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs up. Trust me, I won't let you know. Job is finished, wrapped up. Take you on a journey with me. So at nighttime, the lights are gonna be on. We got a barbecue. We had a very tight space, so we couldn't really make it a big one. This is a five foot barbecue, 36 inch grill. Boom. paint tank pretty simple nice little drawer the cover looking good and I decided it'd be cool to throw a light back there so it lights up the fence we wrapped for the pool equipment. So that's quieter now. And the pool and the hot tub. Beautiful. Trees are in. That was like a big thing because they wanted some privacy for the windows. And once the trees grow, there'll be a lot of privacy. So those windows will pretty much be gone. Small, little, medium, big. And then the main event, right here, the pergola. So this thing was not easy to build. It's not what a normal pergola looks like because she did not want a post there and a post here. So I had to figure out a way to get arches. And we got it. Aluminum frames, two by two. And these are drilled, and this is clear heart redwood. Very nice. Got a fire pit. 
It's hanging out here. Tomorrow I'm going to put glass rocks in there. And we'll be good to roll. This is pretty This is pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. Absolutely amazing. For sure. Propane tank for this thing is right there. There's a little fake rock hanging out. That's it. Now all the kids will come over and swim. Beautiful. This pergola was very tricky to build. Number one, we couldn't have four posts because the backyard is so small. There was like 800 square feet of actual patio space, barely any. And if you put four posts in the patio, it'd break up the entire space. So we had to figure out a way to get the pergola to arch, which we did. I found an aluminum guy, his name was Jose. He built me those aluminum pieces. It was two by two, square, uh, quarter inch thick, all aluminum, powder coated, welded, very strong, five feet in the ground. Okay, a lot. It was deep, five feet in the ground, and um, it had the entire thing was filled with concrete. We used an entire pallet of concrete to fill those holes. Very deep. On the going on the face of the pergola. The wood was going perfectly straight. I was like, man, this is going to look great. As soon as we started to get on top, I started noticing a dip. And I'm like, oh, the wood, it's bending. It has no support. Duh. I'm like, man. So we ended up installing everything. We finished it. And I kept thinking of ways. How can I support it? How can I support it? How can I make the wood go up? So what I came up with, and this is all my engineering. So I made the mistake, I have to fix it. I put clear heart two by four on top, like rails, okay? And then we used a one by four to put it right in the middle and we screwed it up. Boom, boom, just like this. So now the screws are holding the pieces up and it's being suspended. It's being held up. And uh, the two by fours are doing it. So the customer was really thrilled. She was very worried about how it was gonna bend and so was I. I actually stayed up until like midnight the, the day before we were finishing. And I just kept thinking of ways, how can I fix this? How can I fix this? And I figured it out. So it was a quick $400 fix in material and uh, labor was probably another 400 bucks. So it cost me 800 bucks, but now the customer is very happy. I'm happy. I know I'm not going to go back there because it's going to sag like crazy. And um, now it looks good. So when you're doing something like that, pay attention to gravity. It's crazy. I know. Gravity. Who would have known? The barbecue came out really, really, really nice. And that whole setup was 10 grand. The barbecue was three grand. The drawer and the doors were a uh, thousand bucks. The stone was another thousand. The boxes were another thousand bucks and um, all the other materials was probably another 500 bucks and then labor. It looks really nice. Propane was the way we decided to take it because gas lines, very expensive to run them. And she said that she didn't care. She wanted propane and I said, perfect, easier, let's roll. So that's it. This project came out really nice. Thumbs up if you liked it. Very small space, very small space, and we figured out a way. And this whole thing looks really nice because we painted the fence too. That was an upsell, and it came out really good. The fence painted looks modern, it looks clean, it looks crisp, and it looks finished. Smash a thumbs up for the employees. Smash a thumbs up for the hard work. Smash a thumbs up for the pool. Most importantly, smash a thumbs up. We finished this job in 11 days exactly. Dope. See you on the next one. Peace.
Now that we finished it, you love the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Right here, smash the subscribe button. For sure, hit the subscribe button. If you wanna see another pool deck that's similar to this, right here, this is a great video. And um, this one right here is me getting some equipment. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it.